If you're in the market for a new diver's watch, this one might be for you. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Cam, welcome to a new review. Today we're gonna uncover the new Oris release. It's the Aquis Date with a beautiful underseat dial and an underseat ceramic bezel. This video is made in partnership with Oris and they were kind enough to give us this beautiful presentation box. Let's open it now together. You can see there's a nice movement photo on the top here and once you open it up, there's some more brochures. There's the warranty card actually for the watch inside. And here we have the official manual for the Caliber 400 series, which is the movement this watch houses inside. Let's check what's behind compartment number two. There's the movement which is actually in this watch. It's the Caliber 400 which is totally developed in-house by Oris and it's a spectacular movement with great characteristics. This is a demonstration movement which Oris uses on their events in their boutique or maybe retail locations as well to showcase the movement inside from both sides. Here you can actually see the date wheel and actually you can pull out the crown and also wind the movement as you see now it's working. Let's check what's behind door number three. Voila, we have the watch inside. This is the new release of the Oris Aquis with a 41.5 mm case. This one has an anthracite gray fume dial or gradient actually in sunburst decoration and the ceramic bezel is also in gray. Depending how the light hits it, it changes from anthracite to black. And here we have blue dial and also the green dial with a green bezel or a blue bezel. There's also something you've seen in the previous Oris review we did, the 10 year warranty Oris seal. Oris was founded in 1904 in Hilstein, Switzerland. It's actually only one hour drive from where I live. Today Oris is still an independent watch company and it's successfully run by Rolf Studer and Claudine Gertiser Herzog. Oris is known for the diver's watches. If you remember a while ago we reviewed the latest Carbure Shear model which is one of my favorite stories in the diver's watches category and a hell of a watch. What I think is very impressive is the movement inside this watch and also the price category this watch is in. If you want to buy this model with a bracelet, you have to pay 3,200 Swiss francs. If you want to buy it on a rubber strap, you have to pay 3,100 Swiss francs. You can buy it either online or in the link in the description. Or if you got a retailer or Oris boutique in your city, just go check them out in person. If you're going to buy this watch, I would definitely advise you to get the bracelet plus buy the rubber strap as well. This watch features a quick release bracelet system, so you can easily exchange it with your rubber strap. You just basically turn it around and you can see there's a small link here. You just have to press it out, it's gonna pop out and you just push it out of the lugs. Here you go. Because of this custom system, you'll be having difficulties putting your own straps on this watch, which might limit the options. The movement inside is the incredible Caliber 400 by Oris. It features a 5-day power reserve or 120 hours with a double barrel system. It is highly anti-magnetic. It features more than 30 non-ferrous materials, including a silicon anchor and also a silicon escape wheel. It's also very accurate, minus 3 to plus 5 seconds a day, which is actually better than the COSC certification. Oris also created the most stable rotor system, which has no ball bearings like we usually see. A metal stud runs through a lubricated sleeve and it's actually a low friction slide bearing system. Long term is much better and it's gonna have less wear and tear. If you register your watch online you will also get a 10 year warranty, which is actually pretty cool if you think about the price point of this watch. The dial has an anthracite color and it's slightly fume or gradient, so in the middle it's bright and it gets darker towards the edges. It features applied indexes and at 6 o'clock you have the date window. There's a few inscriptions on the dial, Aquis, you can see that the watch is water resistant to 300 meters and that there's a 5 day power reserve. The hour, minute and second cent, as well as the indexes, all feature Swiss Super Luminova. The black ceramic bezel also features the luminous dot on the top and when you turn it you see how smooth it is. It's a 120 click rotational bezel. It's actually only in one direction, so it's unidirectional, it doesn't go the other way. As you can see, the bezel has a slightly bigger diameter than the case, which again improves the grip of it. From the side, we can see that the crown is protected by two crown guards, very special screw heads, and the crown is actually screwed in, which again improves the water resistance. It's very easy to set, so in the neutral position you can wind the movement. Again, five days of power reserve is quite a lot, so you have to wind it quite a bit. In the first position, you can set up the date, here at six o'clock, and when you pull the crown out, you can actually set up the time. You can see this watch also features hacking seconds, so setting it up precisely will not be a problem. The stainless steel bracelet is nicely integrated into the case. It's a three-link bracelet, 
with a brushed middle part and also polished sides. The lugs are polished on the top and brushed on the side. As you can see, they're slightly curved downwards. This, of course, will improve the variability of the watch. The clasp features two buttons, so you can securely open it, and you can actually stand the bracelet for your diver suit, like this. It extends for slightly more than one link. Let me now put the watch on the wrist and show how it fits me. The case is 13.4 millimeters high. It features a domed sapphire crystal, which is actually anti-reflective coated from the bottom as well. The diameter of the case is 41.5 millimeters, which I think suits perfectly on my 18.1 centimeter wrist. Because of the tapered strap and also the curved lugs, this watch would definitely fit smaller wrists as well. So don't be shy and go try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think about this new release. If you like the untered C dial, or would you go for the blue or the green version? I think this watch is a worthy competitor to the Tudor Black Bay line. If you think about the price point of 3,200 Swiss francs, with the in-house movement, 5-day power reserve, highly anti-magnetic, I don't think many can compete with it. If you want more information about this watch or Oris in particular, check the link in the description, like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you next week.